has the whole RV powered up. Um, be able to, you know, make coffee and run the hot plate and uh, fans and that kind of stuff and not have to just uh, plug into an extension cord. LiPo 4, 100 amp hour batteries with built in Bluetooth and auto heaters. And there it is. That sucker is huge. That's starting to look really nice. Looks better than I thought it would. This needs to go in there. And that's what we're getting ready to do. Now you guys see why I built this into pieces. I decided to pull that box off down there and move it up here and uh, run everything into that junction box. So, and right where that light is, there that little grommet is, I'll run the solar cables. She's about as done as she's gonna get. And the only thing I've got left to do now is fine tuning all the parameters and the charge controller and the inverter and making sure they're all set up the best way for these lithium batteries. First time I open it, it just comes up, shows the devices, and sits there. And I have to close it. Then I open it again. And it'll come up, and it'll show the one that's linked. And then it'll pop up, and new firmware found in their app version. Well, I haven't upgraded the firmware yet. Do you want to bind this device? I'm not sure what binding it does. So I don't know yet. And if you look in here, it says it's 66% charging, estimated charge time 23 hours and 52 minutes. But go down to control and hit reset capacity. And then all of a sudden it pops up to 98%. Go to the next battery. It's going to ask about the firmware upgrade. It always says loading, so I have to back swipe. So I don't know what it's trying to load there, but it shows this one's at 67% with 4 hours of charge time remaining. Go to control, reset capacity. Go back to real-time monitoring. This one's at 100%. Go to the next battery. Firmware. Cancel that. 70%. Go to control. Reset capacity. Go back to real-time. 100%. Let's go to the next one. 67%. Go to control, reset capacity, come back to real time, 100%. Now mind you, we've had our morning sun already, we were 100% when we, went, when we uh, retired last night. Um, but sometimes this will go the other direction. It'll say we got, you know, 70, 80, 90% and I'll hit reset capacity and it'll 
come back as something lower. Okay, it says this one's 79%. So let's go into control, reset capacity. Back to real time, drops to 26. So what in the heck, guys? What in the heck? Let me go check out the next one. It says 78%. Reset capacity. 27%. Now, you seen earlier, they were out at 100%. I don't get it. I've been charging it for a little while. And brought it from 20-something up to 45%. And go back in here and control. Reset capacity. Real time. 100%. What is up with that? 66% control reset capacity oh it's really 30% hmm percent control reset capacity boom 31% Number three, seventy one per cent reset capacity, twenty six per cent. Let's go to the fourth battery, sixty eight per cent control reset real time, twenty four per cent. Hmm, looks like we need to run the generator. So they were charging for a couple hours now, and uh, they're from 20 something percent up to 52 percent. And let's go into control, reset capacity, back to real time, 100 percent. 13.6 volts. <clears throat> I don't know. 56. Reset capacity. Boom. Battery number three, 61%, boom, 100. Battery number four, fifty-two percent reset capacity, 